This is inverted vitrectomy, a retinal membrane peel with brilliant blue. These are the OCTs and FAs from the patient with epiretinal membrane. On the uh, moving OCT, you notice the epiretinal membrane crossing the macular area and it is full thickness. It also causes a great macular edema due to traction. We start with the core vitrectomy. We use both wide-angle non-macular lens and wide-angle macular lens, both contact lenses, for a better resolution and sharp view. An air fluid exchange is performed afterwards for a better staining from the brilliant blue. That comes in just now. A comparative inverted OCT and fundus photographs is superimposed to help us decide where to start the epiretinal membrane peel. The autofluorescence shows very distorted retinal vessels. So we decided to peel the epiretinal membrane from the foveal area because we could use the vectorial side forces to spread it away from the retina evenly, but that did not quite happen because we've had a early split from the membrane. Still, we went after the membrane edges and continued the retinal membrane peel. We notice that the brilliant blue creates a nice contrast between the retina and the membrane, thus allowing a good grasp from the retinal forceps. So we carried on the epiretinal membrane peel 360 degrees. Some peripheral endolaser was performed and another AFX as well. That's about it. Thanks for your attention.